um, in three, in, in two, two alternating styles. So you have a, a floor that's all glass, and then a floor that's all, uh, uh, all wall, concrete. A concrete yeah. And then glass, concrete, glass, concrete. The, the floors that have the glass in it, those are the actual medical research spaces. That's where all the that's where all the work is done. That's where all lab techs are. That's where all the equipment is. That, that that's the research facility in the glass spaces. Um, the concrete floor directly above it is what Louis Kahn called the interstitial space or the in-between space. And basically, that's a space that serves all the mechanical systems and everything, and, and it, it holds all the mechanical systems and it serves the floor below it. Um, Louis Kahn was was working on this idea called. Um, on this idea, he was trying to work on this idea that he that he called, um, or he would say, that there needs to be a separation and a difference between a space that serves and a space that is served. And so, at the research medical research facility, he had the floors stacked, and he had these big vertical towers that housed all the mechanical systems and, and power and everything, and they fed the floors as they went up. Um, it worked, but it didn't. So. <laughs> <laughs> Here at the Salk Institute, he took that idea and he took, and he took that to the vertical towers. He made a horizontal dedicated floors, a full dedicated floor to that, uh, to, 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 uh, to serve that purpose. And that's what we see here, the interstitial space. And we have a small enough group today where I'll be able, to, we can all go in there and, I'll, and we can talk a little bit more about that. But basically, that floor serves the floor below it. And even to this day, this is the model for any type of research facility, anything that, that needs um, where the, the floors need to be adaptable, uh, you need to be able to you know change and things like that. And um, one of the things that Salk said to Khan was that you know the the institute needed to meet the changing pace of science, and this layout, this configuration, um, absolutely lets the institute do that. And again, it, this is still the still the model um, for any kind of research facility today. This was done 50 years ago, and and when you go in there, you'll see why. When we go in there, I'll show you why um, th this. Salk Institute has been able to sort of maintain itself as one of the top research facilities in the world. Um, so that's that, that's a, that's the main core.